Hi Scorpios, welcome back to my channel Cosmic Insight Astrology. This is Christina. So if you have a Scorpio rising or Scorpio moon or sun, this is your February 2023 astrology forecast. Okay, let's see Scorpio what kind of opportunities you will have in February. So February 5th, we start out with a Leo full moon at 16 degrees. The full moon is when the sun and the moon opposing each other in heaven. You know, full moon is a completion. It represents an ending and actually like kind of signing of a contract, finishing something. Uh, it will square Uranus. And Uranus is the planet of unexpected. Uranus is chaos, rebel. It's also representing uh, digital currency, innovation, energy stocks, and it's going to be in your 10th cause of partnership and trade and justice. And also it's recognition and reputation. It's your career. So it can bring in an unexpected turbulence, an ending, some kind of difficulties in your partnership. Uh, perhaps you will need to appear on court. And it could also bring a divorce settlement and difficulties as well. So let's talk about actually um, uh, what else it's going to be. Let's talk about uh, the Leo archetype because of Leo archetype we have to talk about because the full moon is in Leo. And um, Leo is someone who likes to be center of attention, who is a leader, who is on stage, a CEO who loves to be shining on stage. And this full moon is um, uh, actually going to take place in your 10th house. Uh, so that's why I said something is coming to completion in your career, right? And because of squaring Uranus ending as partnership over here. Yes, so otherwise uh, the sun is opposing to it in Aquarius and it's going to be on your fourth house. So shining lights in your fourth house of living situation. Uh, and you know, fourth was also uh, family and corpse and weather and funeral homes ending as well. So over here, you might going to have to attend a funeral. You might going to have to actually, because it's shining light, I would actually say it's more positive. So it will be uh, more likely to either purchase a, a home or, you know, move somewhere. So it could represent a moving, um, changing for the better your living situation. Um, yes. And so, you know, that is definitely some kind of closure in business dealing. And uh, also, you know, some kind of issues with your reputation. So you have to you have to be careful with that. And if you already own a house, the sun over here could represent like you need to renovate the house. So the renovation will come to completion soon. On the seventh of the month, we will have Vesta actually moving from Pisces and uh, gonna go to uh, where? To Aries. Uh, yes. So Vesta from Pisces to Aries in your sixth house. And Aries is, uh, the, uh, the sixth house is your health, your daily uh, routine, that is your work. Uh, that is also your tenants, small animals as well. Vesta over here, the eternal flame, that is the asteroid of passion and compassion, actually doing really good. And with Jupiter going to uh, pair up and then later on in 20th, uh, Venus going to join. So all your attention going to be on your health, you're going to uh, actually pamper yourself, you're going to feel luxurious. And even you can change the office or your work environment and pimp it up a little bit and, and you, it's gonna be luxurious for you. It could bring in a beautiful coworker as well, and or you could actually fall in love with that coworker. It could wrap or your roommate as well, because it's tenant and roommate as well over here. Uh, you also can rent out a room from your house, or you rent a property as well. It could represent that, or it's very good. Jupiter is here, guys, and Venus gonna join and Vesta. You might going to adapt a puppy, adapt a small animal. It doesn't have to be a puppy. It could be any kind of animal, but small animal. So it's really good to adoption. 11th of the month, we will have uh, Mercury, the 
planet of communication, sales, and, and vehicles writing the way we process information in this Aquarius. And Aquarius is quite the genius. So Mercury going over here in your fourth house, it could be sale of a house, sale of a property here, okay? Or buying, it's buying and sales, uh, investing there. And on the 18th, actually, on 18th of February, the sun going to go to Pisces in your fifth house. So it's really joyful time for you, Scorpios. Uh, and, you know, the, the Pisces is your fellow um, uh, water sign. So you're going to try and with it. It's a really great energy. It's a blessing energy for you to, to have a lot of fun. It's fun, joy, creativity. So that's that's good. Uh, and then Pisces is photography, lyrics, poems. So you might go into actually write a poem or or enjoy some kind of project with photography or 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 writing lyrics. So that's that's going to be definitely beneficial. Uh, or you know also have uh, what is that like like a gallery show? So showing your artwork in a gallery. Um, yes. And on the 20th, we will have Venus uh, moving to your sixth house, right? I told you it's going to pair up with Vesta and Jupiter over here. So your head going to be focused as attention and the new job possibly coming up with a promotion as well or falling up with a roommate or, you know, co-worker. And then it could also uh, be, um, yeah, if you are in a healthcare industry or military, then it would be very beneficial because you can get a promotion over there. And on the same day, we're going to have a new moon. New moon is when the sun and the moon together in heaven and it's total darkness. You have to listen to your intuition. And it's a new beginning with your children or perhaps with a creative project, with an investment. And it could pay off because uh, Venus was previously here exalted. So it's definitely an investment could bringing some kind of uh, financial abundance for you previously, but February definitely going to be good for that. And then we have to talk about a little bit Ceres, which actually stationed retrograde on the 3rd of February. And Ceres is, where is Ceres, 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 it's in Libra in your travels. Travels is hidden. Travels is your substantials, that's the eternal wound. And Ceres is fear. It is nourishment also and the astro asteroid of grain, but you know, Ceres so uh, child get abducted. So it's a fear as well. So it could be some kind of anxiety, anxiety about some kind of justice court cases, or, you know, like anxiety because of, for example, you use medical marijuana and you out of it. And, you know, that's it. You, you know, you cannot nourish yourself mentally and, and that could give you anxiety. And then what else could be that? Okay, palace Athena, let's talk about palace a little bit. Uh, palace is victory and wisdom, and it's going to station direct in Cancer in your ninth house. Ninth house is anything with traveling, long distance travel, it's uh, airline stops, it's export, import for you. It's also represent education, your visa, your passport. Palace over here going direct, it's very beneficial. So you can start to study a language or do your exam or do uh, actually sign up for uh, some kind of um, um, long distance traveling or buy a house, invest a house, actually cancer in, in, in a foreign country. Or it could be also something with, with like education, complete an education as well. So definitely very, very beneficial. Okay, guys, um, if you loved my podcast, please like, subscribe, and comment below. So let me know how did it work out for you and share it with others so others can benefit from my readings as well. I appreciate your attention and thank you so much. Check out my, max, my website, which is www.urbanwitch.org. Thank you so much for listening. Bye for now. See you in March.